Hey guys, welcome on board Ocean for Life, the place for boating, fishing and free diving. If you're new to the channel, my name is Ivan, consider subscribing if you're a saltwater junkie like me. Today I'm going to be heading out to uh, do some uh, fishing with flatfish. I'm going to use a small rig, very small pieces of mackerel bait and uh, give it a go. I tried a little bit last time and uh, I got flatfish, not much, so I'm going to try new areas because uh, I have never really fished much for flatfish so I don't know where to get it. So I'm planning on going a tiny bit north and uh, see what it brings. I found myself an area with uh, quite shallow water, you can have a look here. Ranging between 20 to 50, 60 meters. So I'm going to be drifting over here and uh, see what happens. As you can see it's a bit of uh, wind, so I'm drifting quite a bit. You can kind of see the current uh, from the boat being pushed in the water. Got my very small pieces of uh, hooks and uh, bait here ready to go. About 40 meters deep here, and I'm gonna drift into probably 20 meters before it gets deeper again. So I'll see what kind of bottom we have here. I've actually never tried fishing this place before. Bottom already. Got a rocky bottom. I think I have fish. That took about 10 seconds. I had fish. It's gone. There is something just nibbling my bait. So I guess I did get a fish. I wonder how long he's been on. Obviously he's going back in the water, tiny little thing. Gonna give it a go here, looks like a beautiful spot, a bit more sheltered, see what goes on here. Got about 45 meters here, a little bit more sheltered, still a little bit windy though, but uh, way better than it was out there. Got another very small fish, gotta reel it in and let it go again. Got a fish that is actually a delicacy, but this one is too small to eat. It's a very uh, colorful and nice fish. I can't be fishing these tiny fishes. I gotta put on a little bit bigger gear and uh, see if I can get something that I can actually have for dinner. So I'm gonna change it up and uh, use bigger bait, bigger hooks and see if we can catch something. After having me fishing with that small gear, this feels like I'm bringing out a sledgehammer when uh, getting this geared up. I'm using a flapper on the one on the end and I'm using half a fillet on each of these smaller ones. I got fish. I got dinner. Yeah! Finally, I was starting to lose all hope today. Here, you can see it's coming now. Well, 
Hello dinner. camera is not really justifying the size of the fish that I'm catching. Quite often it looks like very very tiny fish uh, because of the wide angle lens. This is not a monster but uh, it's a really perfect, absolutely perfect size uh, dinner fish. And I am going uh, home now. I'm gonna prepare him for dinner and in about two hours time it's gonna be on the plate and we're gonna have a family dinner. You don't get fresher fish than that for dinner. Got a very nice and sharp knife. The skin on this fish that I got here, it's tough as nails and very, very hard to cut through. Uh, but not to make this the, the good uh, fillet knife dull, I'm using uh, a, a pretty cheap and crappy knife for the dirty work here first. Looks like a healthy good fish. Quite often you can see if the fish is not uh, doing that good, you can see that it's got diseases in its liver and uh, here the liver is very nice. Well, like I said, it's tough as nails, this skin. So even though I have a sharp and a really good knife here, uh, cutting through the skin here at the top is going to be quite difficult. I am going in just behind all these bones here. This is fresh fish. And then I make a cut along the top here and here to make it easy to, uh, to make the fillet. This cut is difficult in this fish unless you have an extremely sharp knife. You've got the skin collecting on the front of the knife and then uh, the knife gets dull and won't bite. So I've got to get that off and then I can keep cutting. So now i got the cut on both sides of the top and then I'm just going to follow the bones on the inside. Make sure I get all the meat but not the bones. It looks like I got most of the meat out in one piece. So I got the fillets done and uh, ready to go. This is not going to be a big mess when I get home and uh, I can prepare it in the kitchen without uh, causing a big mess. And in uh, one to two hours it's going to be on the dinner table for our dinner today. And you know where it's from. It's healthy, it's good for you.